with the last few episodes about how amazing this school event is going and these fights and this character development is going, I cannot wait for the rest of the series and the season and the show and the movie and everything. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 18 called Sage. Last episode, we had uh, Momo versus Nobara. We also had Maki and Miwa, and then we had Maki and Mai after she dealt with Miwa and she dealt with Mai. Maki is legendary, yet she's still a fourth grade sorcerer, which just doesn't make sense, you know, because the Zenin family are on some bullshit. But one thing that I picked up on uh, that I didn't really touch about as I uh, rewatched some scenes, did some editing, all that jazz, was that um, one of the reasons, I mean, I, I get a lot of the feelings that Mai has towards Maki, but the reason she keeps saying, you're a liar, I hate you, was specifically because uh, Mai promised to never, uh, not Mai, Maki promised to never leave her, never let her go, always be here for her, and then she left, and she just wanted to stay together the whole time, but... Uh, it kind of reminds me of, it's super far off analogy, but Daryl Dixon and <laughs> Merle Dixon from The Walking Dead. No spoilers, but also brothers where a brother left a brother and that brother ended up going through some shit because the brother left. They had resentment towards each other. It's just a whole shit, but it really is similar to this, which, you know, that was very, that was done very well as well. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon. The links are down below. We are four episodes ahead for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon is not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below, it really does help me out with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. And then we do have a PO box if you guys ever want to send me any art, fan mail, anything and everything is appreciated. Don't forget to follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Uh, let's do this though, guys. Episode 18, Sage, Jujutsu Kaisen. Starting off strong immediately. Oh, this is Camo and Megumi. What is his power? Oh, arrows. Okay. So instead of bullets like Mai, he uses arrows. And they're heat-seeking. They can follow you. That's very strong. And then they're coming from the back and the frogs. The Gamma. These are the Gamanues, right? Helped out. Oh, really? The love of bloodline, so that's what he's doing. That's why they're they're tipped with blood, the arrows. Ten shadows technique. Hereditary techniques, ten shadows. Really? That's why Megami's so oh, ten shadows. That's so cool. He is quick. He can really manipulate his blood. Yeah, what the hell? Body temperature, pulse, all components of blood. What does that mean? What power does that give him? Useless Miwa here. <gasps> it's Inumaki. Oh my god. How is he? Able oh, that's why Panda asked to use his phone, maybe, right? Because Panda did ask to use Mechamaru's phone. Is this the grade two? So as soon as Demon Dog Black returns to Megumi is when this pops up. Semi, oh, it's semi first grade. Okay, I thought it was grade two, but I must be lost. Oh, yeah, okay. So they're doing a semi first. Come on. Brett, not. Okay. So, in case even the students couldn't kill Yuji, he had a backup plan. But I just have to go with what Gojo says. Hopefully they can't kill Yuji that easily. He is a maniac.
So even Gaku Gandhi's plan's not going to plan. This is, um... Oh, I can't read it backwards. I'm so mad. This is, uh, Hanami, right? What the fuck is going on? This guy wants to kill Gojo? Oh man, I want to keep watching episodes. This episode's already halfway through. Is that what this means? No way, right? I see, I see. So they're that worried about heirs and bloodline. So he's the head of the Kamo clan. And his mother was just somebody used to create children. Oh my god. He is very, very strong, at the very least. So, Kamo, Zenin, and then we gotta get the other one. Yeah, of course you'd have to follow along the line. Of course the Kamo... I do like that. So, they, uh, last episode, I forget who it was, might have been Megumi, you said, like, the, it would make sense why the clans would have interest in killing Sukuna's vessel, so, as being the leader or the heir of the clan, he would want to act according to his clan's interests, and they would want that, but I do like the reasoning that it's for his mother, I get huge Askeladd vibes from that, and I love Askeladd as a character, so we'll see where that goes, but that's interesting. I want to know his connection. No longer. And he saved Yuji according to his own conscious. You reject that, we'll just have to curse each other. <gasps> Here comes the Gamanue. He only recently tamed it. I like how he says tamed it. Like, oh, that was so cool, Max Elephant. He can only use that one by itself because it runs through cursed energy. And what is an anime fight without water? If you've seen Naruto, you know this is true. This is so cool. Max Elephant. New way. New way. <laughs> Open spaces. Ooh, I love New way so much. I'm so glad Sukuna didn't kill it. Ooh, ooh, he is so. Oh, that is so cool. Reminds me of a character from Hunter x Hunter. Literally can control his blood, too. That's, that's Hanami. That has to be. He controls like flowers and 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 nature, right? Shit like that. Please get go. Please get everybody here teaming up on the same team to fight Hanami, Mahito, and fucking Colt Rack Boy. Please. Okay. Okay. Man, just think how strong Hanami must be to have this much. Like, it's like an entire force going after them. Hashirama sends you out here. Emerge from darkness, blacker than darkness. Purify that which is impure. He's doing his own barrier. What is he doing? Ooh, please have everybody team up, please. <gasps> Is it a veil keeping all the teachers out? No! Okay, so I just I just don't want to miss anything because this show will be shit, spitting out shit fast. So they sacrificed its visual invisibility slash not being able to be seen by everyone for it coming down quicker. Because like, even the little details, man, I swear. 
And then the guy who did it, Coat Rack Man, we don't know him. He used like a, it looked like a nail, like embedded with cursed paper. And then he used, like, he, what the fuck? Like, this show was so crazy. He did say purify all that is impure. I wonder what all that means. So only Gojo's being... All others to go in and out. Specifically him. Yes, please make sure nobody dies. Go save everyone. This is like my hero when the fucking villains invade. Oh my god, shit gets hyped so out of out of nowhere. So real, so quick. This is Coat Rack Man. So he wanted. Okay, so I'm guessing either Mahito or Ghetto enticed Cult Rack Man here that he was going to get the corpse of Gojo to do whatever sort of experimentations he wanted. So he was like, okay, I get the Gojo, bet I'll do this. And the barrier is supposed to live, but no, he did that. He used his power, so Mahito or Ghetto, whoever, was still full power, so he to get, but it gets rid of Gojo, not what he wanted. He wanted Gojo. But so he must be super strong and he's still being used and Gaku Ganji is going to handle him. My man has what the fuck my man's Led Zeppelin out here, Jimi Hendrix. Oh, quick. He told them to not move. Definitely very strong. Slicing exorcism. So cool, but did nothing to him. Uh, stop it. Oh. Stop. Oh, she can telepathically make it so you can understand her. Thank you, because I was sick of reading backwards. What's behind that? This is going to be crazy. I have to watch the rest of the show right now. Though I don't know if the editing is going to make that juju stroll into the actual reaction, but that shit was weird. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, but, oh, I was not expecting Hanami and everyone to come out of nowhere with the teachers and everyone being forced to team up now. Hanami is so strong, even because Kamo and Megumi, I forget the grades, but Kamo was, and Inumaki are both semi-first, right? So they're hella strong. The only one stronger, wait, isn't Kamo first? The only one stronger, I'm pretty sure, is Toto. Pretty, so these are like some of our strongest students, besides like Okatsu and the rest of them, but, and they're not even able to damage Hanami. So if Hanami were to get them trapped in like a domain, oh, it'd be not looking good at all. And then we have Gaku, Gaku Rock G fucking versus Coat Rack Man. What is, and then Utahime is going over to help the kids. Thank you. And then who knows what's going on with Gojo? Oh my God. This episode just took it up from already a nine to a fucking 17. Jesus. I've... <sighs> Is there anything else? That, I mean, I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. I like how Inumaki knocked out um, uh, Miwa and how I do. Oh, so Camo, I, I loved his story with his mom. I said mom like I'm from like I'm from England um, with his mom and his motivation for he doesn't he doesn't necessarily want to be the leader of the clan for his own selfish desires or to do anything like Makio, he wants, she wants to change it from the inside. He's doing this just so him and his are taken care of. His mom is the most important thing to him and she left so he would have better standing and not be ridiculed because she called her, they called her a slutty concubine. That, oh my God, bro. This, and this like very reminiscent of, um, Game of Thrones, other like, m you know, medieval civilizations where, yeah, you know, if you weren't able, if, like if the wife you had wasn't able to bear you an heir, you know, you were, you were fucking somebody. You needed a dude. You needed a son. 
So, that's just interesting. The Camo Clan. Interesting. Oh, man. This, oh, this is going to get so crazy. I got to keep watching. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Hopefully, you know, I'll see you guys in this next bunch of episodes. Check out that Patreon. Uh, have a great day, you guys. Peace out.